Bears on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I'll tell you what, let's just get to your phone calls, even though Max is gone, we get your comments ask me your questions or make your statements 800-259-9231 and then i want to talk about some breaking obamacare news nevada's criminal navigators and how that ties in to what i call petty corruption reports that the media steadily gives us uh, distracting from the real real situation we've got some pro-life news as well university of michigan exhibit celebrates abortion as life-sustaining act they will call death life and life death. But right now, let's go to Chris in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. My, uh, my question was for uh, Mr. Kaiser, but I know he's gone. I don't know if you can help me or not. I'm interested in using some of uh, his services like MaxCoinSpin.com and his uh, startup uh, place StartJoin. I was wondering if you could tell me how to transfer my fiat money into MaxCoin. Well, I'm sure it explains all that on there. You know, again, I like Max. He's very eccentric, has invented stuff before. Uh, maybe I don't like all these cryptocurrencies because... I can't physically hold it. I mean, I don't like the fact that you got money in the bank that you pay payroll with and it's just digital. 
you know, it's just too much like the globalist fiat system. I get that it's in our hands, but I appreciate your call. Sorry he's gone. We can't answer that for you. Uh, Kat in New York, uh, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for calling. Good. Um, I just have um, three quick comments, less than 30 seconds. Um, as far as the Bitcoin goes, um, I just feel that it's like a tool to bridge the gap between cash and the coming chip. So I think, I mean, I think that's what scares most people is because it's um, a way to move away from cash. And we all know that that is their goal. Um, my second um, idea was... Um, if you could come up with something with the Bill of Rights on one side and the Constitution on the other, I don't know if it would be like um, kind of like a transcript that we can all carry around in our pocket or a flag or a banner or a T-shirt. Um, and my third idea um, for you is um, since the super male vitality works so well for women, um, why um, change it at all? Just change the name to superhuman vitality. That's all I wanted to say. Hey, that's a really good idea. Um, it's just weird. People want to buy a pink bottle or a blue bottle of something. And uh, Dr. Group says we could tweak a few herbs for make it even more powerful for women that you don't want to give men. And so that's the reason we're going to come out with a female vitality one. Is It's probably going to have a couple extra things in it um, that you don't want to give men generally. Uh, but yeah, why why mess with something that works so well? And it really does work, folks. You've heard the reviews. I mean, it's just powerful concentrated herbs. We put it out. Our bodies are so inundated with all these fake estrogens and everything. Messes up women, messes up men. Uh, that when your body gets something real, it's it's explosive. Uh, and and that's why it's so exciting. Is it also helps fund our operation. But going back to your point about cash, less than three percent of the dollars that are out there are actually physical, they're digital. And you've got the M1, the M2 money supplies and other things that are out there to, you know, to basically break it down. But yes, we need to keep cash, we need to keep barter, we need to keep the lemonade stands, the farmer's markets, we need to expand that. The system wants that outlawed. They have billboards everywhere saying cash is dirty. Uh, you, you know, oh, we're gonna track your cash. Corporations treat you bad if you have cash. And that's not just because they don't want to handle it and mess with it. It's because the, they they want everything in a digital technocracy so they can penalize and shut down all their competition. It is a monopolistic takeover. And these guys all get together, it's public, in these big global symposiums and agree on a decade before it comes out what standardized direction they're going to go in. So cash is king. We need to keep cash. We need to try to use cash more. It's a very, very simple thing to do. And so that they can't extinct cash. Silver is even better than gold, in my view. I've got more silver in the aggregate than I have gold. And so I think it's a great point, uh, Kat. Thank you so much for the call. Let's talk to Jeremy in Mass. Jeremy, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I was just on with you before. Um, I just wanted to mention... Oh, that's right. I totally to forgot, and I apologize. I said I was going to hold you over. You're the filmmaker. Describe the film again, and then, and then, and then make your points about, um, about the insider trading on 9-11. Right. I didn't even go into the uh, the chapter on insider trading in Mark Gaffney's book, which was the first chapter in his book. I didn't even really even get into all that information in, in that film. And I was I actually maybe want to produce another film with uh, that's more comprehensive and, and complete uh, with, with even more information because there is just so much uh, once you start learning and knowing where to dig. And uh, also, Cryptomia, uh, last month, I think, uh, February 25th, just released a uh, declassified uh, from, from the Port Authority of New York, New Jersey, the complete uh, World Trade Center tenants list from 1976 to 2001. So they have all the dates that... Well, let me just stop you because you, you, you didn't describe who you were again, and you didn't say the name of the film for folks that want to go see it. It's called Black 9-11, and uh, my name's Jeremy. I have, uh, I have a website, I have a YouTube channel called... Um, uh, War Crime 9-11, where all my 9-11 videos are on. I also have uh, another channel, uh, Alien Scientist, which a lot of people are familiar with. And I just I talk about science stuff. I've been in InfoWarrior for eight years now. I, I've, I've been in, in the 
trenches, I'd say, uh, fighting a lot of the scientific debates on the 9-11 issues and making a lot of videos that sh have shut debunkers down and really destroyed a lot of their arguments. Uh, we debunked Popular Mechanics, uh, National Geographic, a whole bunch of other guys, and basically destroyed all their arguments. They, they won't even air half the, uh, the um, debunked the, the hit pieces that they made before because of uh, the work we've done. And we, we're really um, winning the info war on a lot of, uh, on a lot of levels with, uh, with the scientific debates and everything on 9-11. And then, and then what was the film reposted, as you were saying? Because I'm going to put it on screen for folks, uh, where it has yeah. the 900,000 views. What, what, what was the name of that? I'm going to put it on screen for folks. It's, uh, it's called 9-11 Conspiracy Solved. If That's you right. For that 9-11 Solved on uh, YouTube, it, it's like one of the one, first ones that comes up. And, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see yeah, that. I've got it. I've got it on screen. We can punch it up right here, guys. Uh, for all the it's viewers, got 850,000, ish and I'd really like to see it jump up over a million, and um, that would be great. But, uh, yeah, I talk about a lot of different things in that film, but viewing 9-11 from uh, the perspective of a financial crime rather than a terrorist attack, and looking at the fact that with all these software, like the prom particularly the Promise uh, software, P-R-O-M-I-S, um, they could have done a lot of the 9-11 logistics using computers and especially with the insider trading and all the uh, money that was well that's the thing about the technocracy once everything's automated by quote smart grids and and the military's ground air and sea drones which is the conversion will be done in the next 10 years they can just do whatever they want shut the power off the whole regions put viruses in shut off grids blow things up and say terrorists did it put out fake computer generated videos or holograms showing people saying they did it I mean, decades ago, they could shoot video of you and then create a 3D model people couldn't tell was the difference. They could show Forrest Gump, you know, shaking hands with Kennedy. They can do whatever they want. The only way you counter them is knowing nothing they tell you is true. Even when the truth would, would help them, they lie because they're of their father, the devil, the father of lies. They, they, they want to lie to confuse you and hurt you. And, and, and so that's why they just lie, 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 lie. Maybe we should come back in with the uh, ministry uh, song we've got where it's like, lies, 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 lies. And then we cut it in with, you know, that came out like in 2006 based on Loose Change, that ministry um, music. And then we edited it back into the uh, 19, uh, late 1980s, early 1990s, uh, New World Order. Uh, ministry. So we've got that. I want to play that coming into the next segment if we can pull it up on the computer in there. Uh, but uh, go ahead, Jeremy, make some other points. I want to make one more quick point about 9-11 and, and the issue of compartmentalization, that it would have taken a very small number of people working in key positions inside of the World Trade Centers and inside different various uh, agencies to really pull this off. And I think that they knew that um, Large-scale industries and large-scale economic entities like the oil industry and the military-industrial complex uh, would both benefit so greatly from 9-11 and the war resulting wars that uh, it's 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 almost like they knew that uh, no matter what they would the uh, the state and everything else would have to go along with the attacks that they would be forced into sort of going along with the events, especially with the National Security Agency. They would never want to admit that 9-11 was staged by people inside. They'd lose all credibility as a government. And, and exactly, a very small group did it but because they were at the level of controllers and managers of agencies they just misdirected people with an official story uh, compartmentalized everybody and but it didn't work because it's still all of it's come out yeah, but even though all these people were involved like even though it only took a select number of people involved like say I, I say that you know the people on General Dynamics or Northrop Grumman the, the CEOs of those companies weren't necessarily involved with the attacks but because they're selling so much more tanks and jets and missiles because of 9-11 and the wars and everything you really think that they're gonna speak out or go against it or try to expose oh hey it? did you ever hear it came out like in 2007 it was recorded by I think a Time magazine reporter of memory serves guys type in uh, audio um, Rumsfeld with generals talks about new 9-11 or, or Rumsfeld talks about new 9-11 with generals. And it is a Bible page thin level of not coming out and just saying we stage 9-11. And he's talking to all the top generals that are correspondents, former generals, still generals, in PSYOPs at CNN, Fox, you know, ABC News, all of it. He's talking to, I think it's six, six Nazgul, six former generals. And it's like a 20-minute tape that was leaked. And they're going, man, I tell you, 9-11 sure helped us, sir. And we're not going to be able to take out the, you know, this entire operation and the PNAC plan unless we get the new 9-11. You know we need it right now.
He's like, I know it's hard, uh, but we just, we're trying our best. We just uh, don't know if that's going to be happening again. And they're like, sir, we need the attack. We need more. America doesn't get it. They need it. And uh, I, I aired that a few times on air. It's powerful audio. Powerful. In fact, just bring me my phone. I'm going to call Watson. He'll, he'll be able to find it. Uh, in fact, I, 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 you guys are great at finding stuff. I just get so obsessed with information uh, that uh, I, I, I start...